Welcome to Lined Musings. In this video, I am going to be unboxing my Sailor 1911S. I had been wanting this one since I saw it on a Yoseka video and I bought it from Pensachi. As you know, Sailor is one of my favourite fountain pen brands and that is because of the craftsmanship and quality of these fountain pens. I'm a big fan of the medium fine nib. I just feel that it is the perfect width in that it is still relatively fine but can show shading when using the right inks. And it is such a beautiful pen. It has this transparent body and the gold detailing. I'll just bring you closer so you can see. This is my first Sailor fountain pen that is not a Pro Gear Slim. And I'll show you later, but I can already see that the gold part on the cap, that gold section there, it is a lot thicker than on a Pro Gear Slim. I'm not sure if you can see it on the nib there, it is a 14 karat gold nib. And just like the Pro Gear Slim, it has a screw cap. One of the things to be mindful of with transparent um, demonstrator pens is that sometimes the nib won't line up with the clip on the cap. So if you're a perfectionist, that, um, that may bother you a little. But moving on, let's open up this pen and pop in the converter. Sorry for that background noise, I hope it isn't too distracting. But yes, I bought a converter with this pen through Pensachi as well. I opted for the gold coloured converter. I was tossing up between the gold and the silver because I am a mixed metals girl when it comes to jewellery. But in the end, I went with gold on gold. And I can always change it up later if I feel like it. But let's look at this as one whole unit. See if I can manage to get it to line up. So gorgeous. I was contemplating getting a demonstrator Sailor Pro Gear Slim. But I did decide on the 1911 just to change things up a little. What I'll do is um, grab my Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the Grateful Crane, which is also a medium nib, so we can compare the two pens. First, let's look at the two nibs. I believe for the 1911S, which stands for Standard, the nib is the same size as the Pro Gear Slim. I'll just bring that in frame. And please excuse my dirty Progeus Slim nib. But as you can see, the nibs are the same size, which is perfect for me because this is my ideal nib size. And it looks like the thickness of the body of the pen is about the same as well. And I'll put the caps back on so you can see. The main difference between these two bodies is that the 1911 body is a cigar shape and the Progia Slim has a flat top. And due to the cigar shape, it is pointier at the ends, which makes it a little longer as well. Just grabbing my ink swatch book so I can have a think about what I want to ink up my new pen with. The beauty of a demonstrator pen is that I'm not hindered by the colour of the pen and I have the freedom to choose whatever ink it is I want to pop in this pen. I know it sounds silly because, I mean, they are my pens and I can choose whatever colour I want to put in any of my pens regardless of the colour of the body, but there's just something about matching inks to the colour of the body that um, makes me keep using the same colours. So I am going rogue today and I am just having a look at what options I have. I have these samples from the ink swap that I did, perhaps one of these. I'm liking the look of Earl Grey, but perhaps that might be too boring. 
whatever it is I pick is what I'll be using in my five-year tetro for the week. So just trying to vary from what I've had in the previous weeks. Yeah, I'm still liking the look of Earl Grey. I just love the shading in there. Another favourite is Memory Lane. I'm going to go with Earl Grey. I know I said I'd be going rogue and uh, now I've chosen a grey ink, but um, it is what it is. I'll be doing some pen tests towards the end of the video as well, so I think that will be a good ink for it. Okay, I have my ink samples in my Poyo box here. As you can see, I have quite a few, but um, here's Earl Grey, so we are ready to ink up this pen. I have my trusty little ink sample holder here, which I made in a pottery class. It just um, coincidentally fit this ink sample tube. So actually I need to get my little syringe. So I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. Now you don't always need a syringe to ink up a pen, it is just my preferred method to keep things nice and clean and I'm not always great at using the converter so I just find this to be the easiest method. And these are really easy to find, I just bought it from eBay and I think I bought like a six pack so it was also really affordable. Just grabbing the smallest amount and then I will pop it in the converter and I'll just put the rest back in the sample tube. I don't usually fill up the converter all the way just because I want to be able to cycle through my ink collection and I am intending to use this one for my five year tetro just for the week and I think this is about as much as I'll need. So just screwing it all back together. I'm really loving this look of the gold on gold in my demonstrator pen. I have no regrets getting that gold converter over the silver one. Sorry about that, just needed to close my door. And that's what it looks like with the ink in the converter and I think what I'll do now is compare this medium fine nib in the 1911S with my medium fine nib in the Pro Gear Slim and also my other Sailor Pro Gear Slim sizes as well. So these are all the Sailors I currently have in my possession. And we'll test these on Tomoe River paper in my Hobonichi event. I'll note also that this is the 2023 Hobonichi event, so that means this paper is uh, the original Tomoe River paper. Hopefully, the ink has come down the feed and it's ready to go. Yep. Not sure if you can hear the feedback. There is that grey lead pencil feeling when writing with this sailor pen. Okay, hopefully the camera can focus. There we go. So that's the Sailor 1911S demonstrator pen with the medium fine nib. And I've got this medium fine nib also in the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So let's give this one a go. The inks I have used in these two pens are different. So that's something else to factor in here. But so far it's looking like my medium fine in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim is the slightest bit thicker than my 1911S. In hindsight, I probably should have inked it with the same ink. Um, if you're curious, the Sailor Pro Gear Slim is inked with Sailor Shikiori Shimoyo. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that 
the medium fine I have here is thinner than my Sailor Brokeo Slim which is interesting because they're supposed to be exactly the same but like I said it could be the ink and also the other thing is that I haven't flushed out the 1911S and usually when you get a new pen you should uh, flush it out before the first inking. I'm actually thinking I might do another Sailor nib comparison video, just a dedicated one, um, where all my nibs are inked with the same ink and also all flushed and uh, treated in the same way so that we can see a uh, direct comparison. So that's comparing two medium fine nibs and what I'll do next is compare with my Sailor Manya Nuts which is in a medium nib. This is actually my favourite medium nib. I have a medium in the Platinum 3776 as well and in the Coveco pens and um, I just find them to be too thick. This is the perfect medium thickness. And it has that grey lead feedback as well, even more so than the medium fine. I also have here my extra fine in the Sailor Make It Sue colorway. I'd say this pen is about a 0.38. It's um, about the same thickness as a Muji pen which is what I primarily use for my everyday carry, the Hobonichi Weeks. I'll just do some lines up here with the extra fine and the medium fine as well. And of course, the Sailor Manu Nuts Medium Nib, which I forgot to mention, is inked up with Van Diemen's Neptune's Necklace. Let's bring you closer so you can see these pen tests. Not the same ink, but I hope it helps in some way in your fountain pen purchasing decisions. What I'll show you now is the different size and shape of the 1911S in comparison to the Pro Gear Slim. Okay, so size wise, if I just pop this level, you can see here there's about one centimeter. Yeah, I'd say that's about one centimeter. And now just comparing the gold band on the cap. 1911S is clearly a lot thicker. It has a thicker gold band. Just trying to get this to focus so you can see the detailing on the cap as well. Not sure if you can see it here but it does say Sailor Japan founded 1911. I've got a couple other popular gold nib pens here as well so you can see a comparison of the sizes. I'll just tighten this a little. So there's all four of them for comparison. The um, Platinum 3776 seems to be the one that most aligns in terms of size. Oh, this is a bit hard. Um, the pens keep rolling around. So I'm going to use my Galen Leather pen loop holder thingy. <laughs> so we've got my Pilot Custom 823, which is my largest cigarette shaped fountain pen. Then we've got my Platinum 3776 in the Ishikaki design. Also another slightly less pointy cigarette shape. In the 1911S there, which again it does seem to line up with the Platinum 3776, and the shortest of the lot would be the Pro Gear Slim. So, yeah, that looks like it's in order of tallest to shortest, and surprisingly, if we're comparing the little clip 
the Platinum 3776 seems to be the largest one. And the 1911S looks like it is about the same as the Sailor Proker Slim. I'll just line these tips up so we can see the length difference at the bottom here. So the biggest jumps are between the Pilot and the Platinum and the 1911S and the Proker Slim. And that takes us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox my new Sailor 1911S pen and comparing the nib sizes and lengths against the other fountain pens in my collection. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content. Until next time, bye!